Welcome to the tutorial of Jacob Bright. I'm going to show you how to create a cave for um, Halo CE and um, also some terrain to go up the cave. So first of all you want to go into splines and you want to select line. We'll just go into the front view and uh, we'll just create the shape for the cave. Any shape would do really, just as long as it's a cave shape really. <laughs> okay, you just right click and just go here and we'll edit that. Just make sure that perfectly on the line. Okay, and we'll exclude it. Alright, so we'll say the cave should be about, well here it is here, maybe about, maybe, about that long, must too should be able to fit through here, we'll resize it accordingly to what it is. We'll click here and we'll, um, we're going to go to here and we're going to add noise to it. And you just got to always make sure that the faces are in there, not out here. Or it's, um, it's going to, when you walk through it's not going to be right, won't compile properly. So we'll just have a set of nine and um, we'll go up to the front view and we'll give it some strength. Maybe we'll just play them with these variables. Actually, one thing I forgot to do is I'll skip it 40 segments. Okay, and we'll go back here. And now it's got 40 segments. Um, and we'll. Here we go. That's what we want. And that will just give its rocky appearance inside the cave so that when you go through it, it looks like it's a real cave. We'll just see how it goes there. Make a little bit more rockier. Okay. That's about it. Okay, and we'll go here and we'll add another modifier and we'll bend it. You don't really want to do it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's just that you know you want a curved cave. Yep. That should be absolutely fine. So we'll give it an angle of about five maybe that should be about fine and there we go it is your cave so now um, we're going to go into the cave and we're going to create the parts that are underneath so we'll just collapse all and we'll select polygons and we'll create it and we'll just go under here I don't really know any faster ways to do this, so just go into here and create the vertices. I'll just speed it up for you. As you can see, we're just going through here, making the vertices. If you know of a better way, you might as well go ahead and do it. I'll just and here we go, here's our cave. Um, as you can see I've done the ground and I've done all 40 segments. The thing you've got to remember is that you always need to go clockwise if you want to face the point towards you. If you want to be reversed, um, you would go anti-clockwise. But the way I've done it so that I can see the faces it makes it a lot easier. So we'll just go over here and we'll go to normals and flip. And there we go. And there's all normals for the cave that we've made. If you want a rocky ground, you'll just get it tessellate, put that down and put get some vertexes and just pull them up, but I'm just going to have a flat ground. Okay, so we'll um, select all of them. Actually, we'll right click to get ourselves out of creation mode and we'll select all of them. Just make sure ignore back facing is turned off. We'll set the ID to about, say, 3, so the sky will be 1 and the ground will be 2. There we go, there's your cave. We'll just go and save that. In case anything happens, 
We'll call this one Cave Test. Let's just save it. There we go, there's your cave. Um, okay, now what we are going to do is we'll um, just unselect that, create ourselves a skybox and um, the ground for the cave. So we're just going to go over here and we're going to just select the box and go over it. Most, pro most people already know how to do this, right, but just make sure. There's the skybox and we'll rename that to skybox. Convert to it will mesh. Okay, and we'll select this and we're just gonna go over to normals flip. Okay, and we'll give um actually we don't want it to be too high. We'll just bring these polygons down all these verticals and we'll select the top parts we'll give that an ID of about one and the ground can have an ID of two so it knows what it's got here and we'll select more back facing just to make sure and yeah that's already done so uh, we won't be needing to do that anymore okay um, Alright, we'll go out of the edit to mesh selection and we'll select the cave. Actually, we'll just do it this way. Select. Rename it to cave just to make sure. Okay, and we'll bring that up. Okay. And now we're going to go here and we're going to select the bottom. And we're going to go to test light and we're going to put it all the way down to zero so that we don't um, subdivide it and we'll go over here and we'll click this until we got 512 faces selected ok as you can see over here I've oh got a terrible mouse ok um, we'll just make sure so we've got all that ok and we'll unselect that and we'll go over here Selection mode. Whoops, got that one there. Okay. I'm gonna do soft selection. I'll just get that out there. It could be worse, but Sorry about that, it's a pretty bad mouse, <laughs> really. Okay, and we'll just select the verticals, and we'll we'll leave all that. We'll just affect the fall off just a little higher until you can see the um, different verticals changing. So we'll go up a little bit. Okay, and until you see that, um, there's all the verticals changing, and we'll just go into wireframe mode. And we'll select the polygons there, and we'll just make some mountains for it. As you can see there, it's nice and smooth so you don't any of those rough edges. And we'll just go like that. So that we have a mountain that covers up the cave. And if you want to adapt your idea, that's fine with me. I mean, it's just a really basic idea of mine. <laughs> we'll just keep on doing that. Okay, and until it completely covers the cave. And, um, we'll just select that. We'll go to the polygons here and we'll delete the faces so that we can see the cave completely. We'll go out of soft selection. Always make sure that mistake I always make. And that should be fine, yeah. Um so we'll just go to attach, attach the cave to it. And we'll go on to smooth plus highlights. We'll create. I'm not quite sure if this is 100% correct. You might get a few errors. We'll just see if we can get it working anyway. This will just give you a basic idea. Um, usually, if you don't get the polygons right, it won't 
it will just go um it'll come up with an error saying that the edge is not correct. So you, you must make sure that you do it right. I'm not one hundred percent sure that this might work. So when you're doing stuff like this, it's always just good to go over it to see if it's right. And um yeah. I'm going to hurry up here, I'll run out this place. Oh, don't want any edges like that. <laughs> I'll speed it up for you, actually. Now, as you can see, there's your cave and all that. That's really basically what you got, so we'll just select it all again. Well, actually, we've got ignore back pressing all, we'll select it again. Press Alt and select it, that'll just remove it all. And see, so you've got the ground selected, and we'll just go to ID and we'll set that as two. Rest of it, just see. And yeah, that's all fine. And we'll go to Materials, just press M. Materials. And we'll call this one. Actually, no, we'll go to standard and we'll go to uh, multi sub object, discard of material, and uh, we'll set number. We want only two materials. And we'll go OK. Click on this one. We'll call this one um, plus sky, and that will just detect the sky box if you don't already know. If you do well, then you're gay. I'll just, you know do obviously. We'll just do that. We'll also go to this one. Okay, and we'll do this one as a ground. If you already have a ground texture, that's fine. Um, so I'll just like any ground texture will do. It's only a tutorial, so. Um, we'll just go to the Hello CM directory. And you just select from here. And yep, we'll select that. Okay, we'll go down here and we'll select ID and we'll select number two. And you see they'll automatically do that. We'll just, you know, do that. And it should. Should do it. Um, yeah, we should get something here. Um, yeah, all right. Oh. There we go. There's our level. We'll save it and, um, we'll actually, we'll put a UVW map on it because. It does look a bit obscure. And, um. And that should do. We'll just collapse all, no, we'll just put it all together. And there we go, and we'll press Ctrl S to save it. And you have created um, a cave. I would recommend before you go exporting it, it hasn't turned out quite correct. You might need some texture adjustments actually, but um, you just you go through this list and just go to STR check, and it should just check it for you, and it will check everything. Make sure you've got this selected. And um, as we do, we have five errors, but I'm just going to hunt those down and select them, as you can see. But except for that, um, I hope this tutorial has come in handy to show you how to create your own cave. And um, best wishes. And um, if you if there's any questions or anything, just email me at jpack at msn.com. And thank you for joining me. Bye.